road on the map now. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool though. Sprocket was laying in the AC by my feet, but he gets scared when we slow down sometimes because he's not sure what's happening. You're okay. <laughs> sick parts about the van is that they chose the ProMaster chassis and this is an 8,000 pound vehicle probably with all their shit in it. This little V6 just drags it up some pretty steep hills at uh, 75 miles an hour so that's pretty sweet. 75 miles an hour is 120 kilometers an hour and uh, it just didn't even break a sweat so I'm stoked on the Dodge ProMaster. Why he said like, yeah, we're not allowed in the left lane because we weigh more than 13,000 pounds with Tesla's in it, but it's all good. I just recorded all of that. <laughs> Cactus! This whole town feels like it's like a theme park. It's like the Truman Show where everything's like safe. Yo, everything's way too nice. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's, it's a private community. Yeah. So everything's like really nice and everything. There's like eight people driving around picking up garbage and golf carts. It's so oh, We're in a tunnel in Phoenix in a bunch of traffic. I don't know why anyone wants to live here ever. This traffic isn't actually that bad. It's kind of crazy that there's this many people driving around. That's the craziest part about it. And this is probably going to be our last day in Phoenix. It's uh, We only spent like a day, maybe two here. But there's really not that much other than skate parks here. So okay, we got to be back in like three or four days. So we got a lot of driving to do in the next bit. These roads are bumpy as hell, like all these little slabs, it's like a train. So sorry for that last shot. <laughs> yeah, you can't hear anything. We are driving and it won't stop saying that my seatbelt's unbuckled. Passenger seat. I even checked the back seat just in case there was something in there, but it's just beeping. And um, we're pulling over because it will not stop no matter what we do. Darcy tried his seatbelt, I tried mine five times. Yeah, fun. Freaking dog. <laughs> we love this van. So we just parked in a parking spot at a gym and turned off the van and back on. I spun my seat around a little bit and then we both undid our seatbelts and did the backup and it disappeared for now. So that was a fun little rendezvous. I can fix anything. right between us and another camper van in her car and then honk her horn a couple bunch of times. So that was fun. Crack <laughs> aren't always the best. If you're a heavy sleeper, it probably doesn't matter, but... We also had a garbage truck at like 6 a.m. So we were up early today. But it's pretty out. had to cross the road like the lanes are on the wrong side we pretty much just drive and then keep driving and then drive some more and then drive again
that we can drive through that we haven't seen. We've been through like fields, mountains, snow, crazy cliffs, like crazy steep hills, Grand Canyon, all that's desert. And now we're just like in these other things. So it's like, what do you even describe this? how close we are to California. That's what I'm saying. So apparently that's California, just those hills right there and we're in Arizona. So we got really close to California this time, but we didn't quite make it. If there was a bridge, I would literally go across it just to go <laughs> to California. We went to the skate park in Lake... Havasu? In Lake Husqvarna and <laughs> there's a freaking scooter competition. What kind of bullshit is that? Welcome to California, it says. Right here, baby. We made her to Cali. Woo! Oh, there's an actual sign coming up. Google tells us. Yeah. We are parked in the California desert overnight here, and it just started raining, and it's actually hailing on us a little bit. Oh, we're in the California desert somehow. We were just uh, kind of on our way to Vegas and I guess it just kind of peeks through the one side of California. And now we're in California just for a few hours pretty much. Uh, we spent the night here and now we're headed to Vegas to check out some spots there. And then we're pretty much going home after this. We're gonna try to make it to above Salt Lake City today, camp out there. And then we pretty much have to be home in like two or three days. And we still got a long drive. And I am pretty bundled up right now. It's actually pretty cold out. The wind is just kind of cutting. The sun's not really up high enough yet for there to be any heat. So just enjoying some coffee all bundled up with the dogs playing with their stick. Hopefully the wind isn't getting you guys too bad. You can see the mountains behind me here. Absolutely beautiful spot. We're actually out in some old military base. Uh, they used to use this for training and like hardening the troops, let's say. And uh, we didn't see any skinwalkers or coyotes, so that's good. I don't think I've ever seen Smalls this obsessed with a stick. Usually if the ball's around, she ignores anything. But this stick, sums up with this stick. Check out the stick. Yeah, like she literally left her ball out in the desert for a stick, which doesn't happen. What? You don't even want the ball? Nobody wants the ball. So yeah, and I'll show you guys some drone shots from this area and you can see all the grid roads and the like big circle they had. I'm assuming that's where like the command post or something was.
that on the camera. And we stayed stayed out here. We found this spot on iOverlander. It's a pretty cool spot, we're just out in the desert. Um, as I've said like six times already, there's like barely anybody here. There's two people. Uh, it was a little cold last night. We went from about 80% battery to 30% battery this morning. We had the heat on. Uh, we were inside the van like most of the night, like charging up laptop, charging up cameras, um, doing that sort of stuff. Had the light on most of the night. Yeah, we burned through a lot of battery, but uh, if you drive like three hours a day, it seems to recover, but it's a lot of driving every day. And uh, I'm not sure how long the generator takes to dick around, but yeah, the dogs love it out here. They love the freedom. That's why we, that's why we do it pretty much for the dogs. You're in the dirt. What are you doing, bud? Just loving life. Loving life. Yeah, we've actually, this is our first time in California, even though we're just here like really quick. We're not actually spending too much quality time here, but we're going to come back because I still want to go to Lake Havasu and beyond. Hopefully it's warmer. Yeah, this is like our, this, uh, we might have said this before, but this is like our first trip back in the van after its extensive period in the shop. So we're... I mean, we went pretty much full bore on our first trip and went all the way down to Phoenix, camping in the winter, up to about minus five Celsius. It's been working really good so far. A couple things here and there that aren't working, but nothing major like it used to be. <laughs> yeah, we're able to actually use it. So. And with our new tires, we're able to get to spots like these. Uh, before it's just like road slicks that you'd find on like a just any car that never has been off-road in its life and now we have some serious off-road tires that can get us all over the country in and out of uh, some kind of hairy spots but not like hairy for a front-wheel drive van but not hairy for like a jeep obviously we're gonna get out of here pretty soon and then we're gonna go to vegas uh just stick around for a few hours uh we're gonna try to make it past salt lake city tonight and then we'll be camping probably in the cold again once again, the wind has followed us. It found us uh, out here. It just keeps finding us. It won't leave us alone. And it's cold again. And boo. What do you got to say, woman? Um, I hate the wind. Like, everywhere we've gone has been windy, except for Phoenix. One day wasn't windy. And I wore a hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, uh, we've gotten hit with the wind every single day. But we're pretty much in like a season change kind of weather. So I wouldn't really expect too much, but we've been making the best of it. Up, 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 up. Pretty sharp journey, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna probably win again. Oh. If I go bike in. missed our turn to go down to the strip so now we're back on the highway big ass highway right beside the strip and then the next exit's closed traffic's really not moving much we're going down flamingo road in a second <laughs> unintentionally everything we do is unintentional but we'll get somewhere but we are in vegas there's mandalay bay there's the stadium i guess what happens if I go down this road? I don't know, it's dead stopped, not moving. This is how Darcy drives. He likes to try and test things and we're just gonna sit down here in this pile of traffic that's just trying to get back up onto this road, I guarantee. So yeah, now we're just on this little exit that's red. We have to merge back onto the highway that we just came down off of. There's some goats. Toots my goats. The donkey distracted me back there because <laughs> I didn't realize that 
the exit like split off into like four different exits yeah he literally was like tess there's a statue of you and it's a donkey and then he's like oh no i'm on the wrong road <laughs> who's the jackass now yeah karma that stadium looks insane did i mention i hate traffic and wind and we've got both things going on but we're still on that little jaunt darcy took down this way i don't remember what time it was but we had it about 15 minutes already to her what was a 15 minute drive <laughs> yeah if we would have stayed there we would have been past like we were just right there on the freeway there's like 10 lanes that merge into one lane maybe pay maybe pay more attention to your yeah. gps when you drive around right and still just take random turns <laughs> yeah but now i gotta look at this huge stadium for a while and it's actually pretty neat yeah for a long while I'm so glad you're driving. It's not a car experience. Look, we can oh. rent a Rolls Royce. Yeah, get rid of the van. The lights are broken. And uh, the Vegas sign, there's like a huge lineup just to take your picture. But uh, we're not all about that. I took a quick picture and that's all I give a shit about. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much in Las Vegas, right on the strip right now. Oh, a Lambo. There's a bunch of cool cars. We saw a Cybertruck, a couple Lamborghinis, Rolls Royce. Uh, no Bugattis yet though, and that's the cream of the crop for me. A Bugatti or like something really unique like that. But uh, we're gonna come back one day. Today is just not that day. No. I can see the sphere. It's like way out of the way. It's like. Smalls doesn't care about Vegas. She's falling asleep. There's the sign again. He's gawking around. I am gawking. Baby, stop. Stop. Fuck. Watch the road. This guy's buffing out the lion. He literally is buffing it. Another strip in. Woo! Darce is always stuffing his face. I got sugars to maintain, bro. Yeah, don't be diabetic because you'll always just be eating an insulin and eating an insulin. <laughs> high and low and high and low. Hopefully you guys can hear, hear me. Uh, we decided to take the longer, slightly longer, more scenic route from pretty much Las Vegas to Twin Falls and then Idaho Falls. Uh, we've already took the highway through Salt Lake City and it was okay, but it's absolutely insane. So we're hoping this way is going to be a little more chill, more landscape. Um, yeah, but we're pretty much going to be driving for uh, the next seven hours and it's already 3 p.m.
with no gas and when I was at Love's filling up, um, for some reason the pump clicked twice. And I missed a quarter of a tank and now we're, we're running low on gas and we still have 31 miles, which is like however many kilometers, probably like 50 kilometers. We got 73 kilometers worth of gas, it says. So we're driving a little slower, enjoying the views a little bit more and, uh, and hoping that we make it. And there's literally signs like at everyone's farm that says no gas because probably this happens and there was no sign saying well we didn't notice the sign saying if there was one that says like this is your last chance for fuel for however many miles and uh, now we're sweating it a little bit especially Tess this never happens when I'm driving it's always when Darcy's driving because she never drives Low fuel light is on. It's a race against the clock now. We're getting closer to empty. We're at one notch. <laughs> so we're really pussyfooting it. And we got three miles left. I think we'll be in the clear, but uh, three miles is still a ways away. We've made it to the gas station. This guy obviously was running on fumes too. Look at that big hog. There's one gas pump. Oh no. Aurora the Adventure Bus. How much do you think this fuel's gonna be? Probably more than you wanna pay, but you don't got a choice. 389, not bad. Oh, look at that. They could probably charge five bucks and get most people. Oh yeah. We were lucky this was here. It's parked at Love's truck stop. We have 99% battery because we've been driving all day pretty much, at least since noon. Um, and it's gonna be minus 11. So we're running our heater. It says six degrees right now. I don't think it's six degrees Celsius. It's minus five outside. Um, and then it says it's 11 and 12 in here. But yeah, we're hoping the tanks stay warm enough. We're not going to turn the tank heaters on, but we'll let you know how much it drains our battery being in minus 11, how warm we stay. I might crank this up too during the night in the back, especially just because we want to stay warm and keep the tanks warm. We're going to hunker down guys. Hey, say good night. Condensation from breathing. We spent the night at Love's today. It was actually quite nice. Nice showers at this Love's, and there's a flying J across the road, too, if you need to say. We're in Wells, Nevada. Heading north. So we're at 59% um, and that's how much we used overnight with our heater going. We just shut it off here about half an hour ago. Well, not even that long, but Darcy's been driving a little bit. We forgot to get it, but yeah, so 59% and we ran the heater all night and we stayed fairly warm. We actually turned the heater down for a bit and then yeah, now it's off. I'll turn it on if it gets too cold back there. just stopped in Twin Falls. Darcy went in to get some lattes and I'm just in the van here with the dogs and it says that our temperatures are 19 and 20 in the back. It's minus two outside currently. Yeah it's not 19 or 20 degrees in here. It's so cold on my feet like I need 
shoes on in the back. Sprocket loves sleeping outside in the cold and even he came up to the front to sit in the heat when we were driving. So I don't know how accurate those temperature things are and that's probably why during the night our Timberline sometimes turns on and runs too long like it gets too hot or sometimes it doesn't seem to turn on and you wake up and you're freezing. So yeah it just doesn't seem to stick right at the temperature you set it at or anything like that. How do you like driving? Um, I like when it's not windy. <laughs> Got him. guys What a beautiful sunrise. Hey, Sprocket. For our last night in the van for a while. Oh, the light turned off. Now I don't got sick lighting. Ooh, my eyes. Oh, my. A warning next time. Just blasting with light. Don't mind the mess of our oh, evening. You guys. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Pa? Yeah. Wolf. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Horse load. In the winter and at a truck stop. Is that you gotta dress up, leash up the dogs. Get all ready just to take him out to go potty. Okay, come on. Just go potty. Smalls always takes a little longer to go pee. Good girl. French toast. Bye, loves. We'll miss you up in Canada. Right? Yes. Tess only been in one of them. And I go in every single time, get coffee, get energy. 
get use the washroom, all the fun stuff. I appreciate loves. Every time we like go on a ramp, I'm like, you're speeding to Darcy, but then I look and he's not even going the speed limit that there is set here. Like in Canada, they're way lower. It's actually scary here how fast they let you go. Yeah, I always feel like I'm speeding and then people just like come flying up to me and I'm not even doing like five below the speed limit yet. Like. The speed limit here are crazy. On the highways, it's technically 130 kilometers an hour, which you would definitely get a ticket for anywhere in Alberta. I was listening to that song. We're gonna go over the Canadian border soon, so we're just trying to eat all our fruit. Don't wanna go home. You're peeing on smalls. Come on, guys. They have this incredible pet area. Sprocket still wants to go play in it. Come on. Because in, um, in a lot of these rest areas, they don't allow pets. Nobody picks up their pet poop, uh, seems like. So they not allowed pets on any of the grass or anything. So it's always looks nice. And then people can actually enjoy the grass. on the brakes because we're going 75 and thinks it's been a, it thinks the speed limit is 49 and the van literally like because if you hit the brakes hard enough your balance goes all over the place on vehicles and the van starts like going a little bit sideways it's just like well that was fun and it happened because our screen just randomly dies and resets itself while you're driving so it took that speed sign assist and reset it so that's why that happened we are back in Alberta and it's windy. It's followed us pretty much our entire trip. I think we had one day that wasn't windy. And yeah, comment below if you live somewhere where it's not windy and we'll come visit you because this is insane. I hate it. Check out my tan. I'll tell you what though, those Alberta mountains do hit pretty good. Back in our town, and we found some snow. Oh, well, we just got home. Tess is plowing snow, and I'm not. Nice orange jumpsuit. Oh, he just got stuck. I did. He got so much right before this. Don't go any more forward. Oh, we're back at home. Just gonna give the van a good old scrub. Just gonna get all that gross USA dirt off it. <laughs> Just kidding, we would like to go back. But uh, yeah, we're gonna clean it up, park it for the next few weeks until our next trip. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. We're back in Alberta after our long journey across the states. Some of the states, we haven't hit very many yet. We drove through Montana, Idaho, Utah, Arizona, a little bit of California, a little bit of Nevada. Actually a lot of Nevada. Nevada, Nevada. <laughs> through Idaho again, through Montana again, and then back to Alberta where we call home. And there's a lot of snow here. We re-winterized the van. We got stuck briefly. 
had to dig out our spot because there was so much snow when we got here. <laughs> so, on our trip total, we drove 5,768 kilometers, which is, uh, I have no idea how many miles, but I'll put it right here. <laughs> Um, our average speed was 77 kilometers an hour, which miles per hour, I'll put it right here. I think that's about 50. Our total travel time, so moving of the vehicle, was 75 hours. That's how long I sat in this seat over 11 days. I drove only like two hours because it was so windy everywhere that I don't like how much it pushes the van around. And Darcy doesn't, he doesn't like it either, but he doesn't seem to mind it as much as me. Our plan in the future is to do a bunch of trips, uh, document it all on cameras, uh, this kind of style. Hopefully we're gonna get better at it. Stick along for the journey. Hopefully it's fun and entertaining and you guys learn something new every day. And we're learning something new every day too. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out and you can like the video if you did like it. Anything helps and we will catch you on our next journey. Yes. All the subscribers just keep us motivated to do more because it is a lot of fun. We'll probably do it anyways, whether you subscribe or not. So yeah, <laughs> leave us a comment where we should go next. We always make a plan and end up somewhere totally random and different than where we intended. So that'll probably happen again. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you later.